All right, we're starting from complete scratch. This is the new updated video on how to import models into Gary's Mod. We're just gonna do the very basics. We're not gonna talk about UV editing or anything like that. So I'm not gonna explain how materials and their positions and stuff relate to the model or anything like that, okay? So, File Explorer. Hold Shift, click File Explorer again. That gets you a second window. I'm using something called Power Tools, so you'll see these little grids pop up here. I'm just using this for organization. You don't need to. Open up Blender. In this case, we are going to be using Blender 3.2. That is required. 3.2.1 is the newest version that is supported by Blender Source Tools. So we'll paste that over here. We're going to uh, install the add-on. So Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, Find the location of Blender Source Tools. In my case, it's this. Uh, you'll notice it's 3.2. You just double click it. And I've already got it installed, so it's not going to show up. But then you click the checkbox right here to where it's checked. And then you can close that. Select this, delete, select that, delete, rename, cube, just all lowercase is cube. We're going to scale this, so um, left click it once to select it, press S, and then type 1, 0. We're going to scale it to 10x its normal size because Blender's units are different from uh, Gary's Mod. Next, we're going to go do the material. So come to the material thing here. Double click this and rename this cube underscore text. Next, we're going to go to the scene, set up the source engine export, choose the folder where you want to save this stuff. In my case, my project folder is on my desktop. Update, accept, Ch change this to SMD, engine. In my case, no, normally it's gonna be under C, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's mod, bin. In my case, it's uh, Steam SSD, Steam, uh, this, da -da, common, Gary's mod, bin, and then click accept. Now, because this version of Blender is a little different, you've got to drag this into Scene Collection. If you don't, this won't export correctly. So go to Export, Cube SMD, and you're done with that. You can close Blender now. So now if we go to our folder here, so Desktop, Update, we have our SMD file. Awesome. If we go to Gary's Mod, I want to go to the Materials folder, just so we're there. So Materials. We're going to keep it uh, organized. We're going to make a folder called cube. I'm going to delete these so we're starting from scratch. Um, using your blank VMT file, we're going to double click that. Open this. You can open it in a text editor, but this is the location from materials of where the uh, VTF file is going to be located. So cube and then cube underscore text. And then what you're not seeing is dot VTF. That's what this is. So you can close that. We're going to make the VTF now. So I'm just going to delete that. Um, open up VTF edit file, import, I'm just going to do a basic JPEG, click OK, file, save, project folder, cube underscore text, enter, close that out, copy these two files into your material, uh, into your that location where your materials are going to be, so uh, materials cube. Next, we're going to look at that Look at the uh, QC file. So we're going to open it with uh, Notepad++. You can just use normal Notepad if you want to. That is taking a long time to open, my goodness. OK, so cube QC. Don't worry about this right now. Um, this is the name that you'll search for in Blender, uh, in Gary's Mod to find your prop. Body is referencing the SMD file that we made from Blender. Uh, this is the location of the VMT file. So what you're not seeing is Gary's Mod materials and then cube. Um, this slash is important, so you got to have that in there. Um, we don't have any animations or anything like that, and this is a basic collision model, which is you know how it collides with our other props and players. So we're just using that same basic square, okay? We don't have any animations, so we're not doing anything special with that. That is it for that. Now, open curl bar. Go to the compile tab, find your QC file, which is there. And then over here where it says game uh, that has the model compiler, choose Gary's mod if it's under the, if your Gary's mod is located in the default, you know, C, program files, Steam, et cetera, et cetera. If it's not, you have to go to set up the games and then set up and find all these files and stuff for each thing. So back to the compile tab. That's all we'd got to do is select that. We have that selected, click compile. Uh, there's no errors. We are great. This automatically puts those models in the Gary's mod folder. So we can now open up Gary's mod. 
start new game start and cube enter bam there's our little cuboid notice that's very 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 tiny that is okay <laughs> 